Hello, I wanted to share with you how to make this memorial decal. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to do is upload your background image. Um, I uploaded a few, um, I believe I got them from Creative Fabrica. So this is the, the background and choose your photo. And I'm going to bring those back. Oh, let's scroll it down a little bit. Okay, so that's clearly way too big. Get my little person. Okay, so I need to slice this design out of her without cutting her out of this design, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, let's line her up. Keep in mind that your print and cut can only be a certain size. I don't know the exact dimension, six-ish by nine-ish. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate um, this watercolor and I'm going to change it to a basic cut because I just need the, those bottom shapes. Okay, so let's see. Let's put her... Let's see, right here. The first time I did it, it kind of looked a little janky with her arm, so you might have to go back and forth a few times. Okay, so then we're going to line this up on this so it's perfect, and then we're going to bring her to the front. Okay, so I need, I don't want it to be flat right here, so I'm going to bring her body, maybe I'll turn it a little bit. Okay, so what that looks like. Okay, so then I'm going to take her and this basic cut, highlight just those two, and we're going to slice that. Okay. And then we can take away all of this, and there's a bunch underneath there too. So let's just take her and our watercolor, and we'll move them over here. So now you can see that the rest of this is just garbage. So we'll delete that. Oops. And now they're together-ish, and you can just line, oh, let's see what it is. I messed it up. There we go. Okay, so let's keep them together, so we'll group them. Now we need to add the words. And you can pick whichever font you want. Let's see. Mm, what did I use? Something simple I did, I think. Okay, we'll just go with that one. Okay, so we'll size it up. And I liked it curved. Okay, so we'll see that's right there. Now it's important to pick the color at this stage. And you'll see why in a little bit. So we're gonna make that white. And let's see. I forgot what I wrote. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, shrink that. We're going to make this white. Okay, and then we'll select the dates. I know these aren't the right words or the right numbers, but you will use any numbers that apply in any font that you want. Okay, and this is also going to be white. All 
All right, sorry, this part kind of gets a little boring. Okay, so we'll line everything up where we want it. Now, what we're going to do, oh, let's see, I believe I had a heart in there. We can add some shapes. I think this way also. A bit smaller. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now real fast, and you'll see in a second, I'm going to take this shape just this shape and I'm going to duplicate it again and you'll see why in a second. So I'll just put that down there. Okay. So now all my font is on there. I do believe you don't need to weld at this stage or in this process because you're not cutting. What we're going to be doing is flattening. So I'm going to take the entire thing and I'm going to flatten it. Okay. Now, I need to put this background on a background. As you can see, there's a white border. Also, I don't want my Cricut to cut right up against those lines either. So I was having a difficult time getting the offset to work properly. And so what I ended up doing was making a duplicate, making a, a basic cut, making an offset off of that. I think it just has something to do with the computer needing to think less with print and cut. Oh, look, now it's going to take forever. Okay, so. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> and we wait. We all know sometimes DS just does its own thing. I'm going to bump that up to just a little bit more so it's not to think again. Oh, goodness. Come on. Okay. My dear. Let's go. Okay. Let's just clean up some of this other stuff. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Think, 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 think. So, how's everyone's day? Oh, goodness, come on. <laughs> oh, dear me. Don't take this long. Okay, so once the, actually, you know what, maybe I can just use this one. Okay, so once the, I'm just going to borrow this one. Don't watch. Okay, so let's just say this was the offset that was created. like so, and you will take that and then you will put it behind your, your piece and then you're going to flatten again. Now your Cricut will cut around this line and leave all of this alone. Now let me hide all of this. Okay, so once you have your design all flattened, it should look like one piece. If you still have multiple little boxes, it, there might be something wrong. It might not cut correctly. So then you're going to go to make it. Okay. This is a very important step. A lot of people will have not so good images because they miss this step. 
when you send it to your printer, I have to do this each time. There isn't a button I can click. Um, you're going to remove the add bleed because you have that border. Um, if you have the bleed, then it's going to be a little bit runny. It, it's, you know, then it's set to cut, you know, real close to the actual color. So we do not want the bleed on and always hit use system dialog box. Then you'll print, go to your preferences, go to your paper quality. Most printers are defaulted to save ink, obviously, to save money. So um, you'll need to select best and then make sure if it's, you know, color or black and white. And then you'll hit OK. And then you can print. The products I used were StarCraft and I purchased those off of mycraftsource.com and use code Sean Mosh for a 5% um, a discount. And that's uh, S-H-A-W-N-M-O-S-C-H. So she'll hook you up with a 5% discount. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. This video was made on the fly because so many people were interested in the design of it. Thanks for watching.